All right, with this uh, forecast video update on this uh, Friday, January the 24th, this is the morning edition. I am Josh Brown. Well, we are waking up to a bit of a cooler start to our uh, Friday here all across Central Florida. At least, thankfully, it's not really much cooler or chilly like it was over the past uh, several days here, or a few days, rather, going back to earlier this week when we had temperatures, you know, in the 50s and uh, 60s, basically for high temperatures, but then we had much colder temperatures in the uh, 30s across the entire viewing area as well. But thankfully, uh, we didn't see, we're not seeing any of that here as of this morning. We'll, have, we'll look at these uh, temperatures here uh, currently in just a little bit. But let's take a look, first of all, what's happening right now on the radar because we are tracking a couple of isolated uh, spotty showers and sprinkles right now uh, across portions of our viewing area as well. As of this morning, and as you can see right now, we do have a couple of uh, sprink uh, sprinkles here, a little bit of drizzle rather, uh, right here across parts of uh, Orange County. We'll go ahead and submit and show you where that is. So we got a little bit right here in and around uh, Orlando, basically just to the southeast of downtown. And we also got a couple of uh, isolated showers and a couple of uh, sprinkles and drizzle, and a little bit of drizzle as well here, just uh, east of the Orlando International Airport and right near Conway in Bithlow. And we're also watching a couple of showers right here down and around um, uh, down and around Osceola County, as you can see right now, just to the south of uh, Kissimmee, also down and around uh, St. Cloud. And we're also watching a couple of uh, isolated uh, coastal showers right now as well here over towards Brevard County, too, basically over here towards uh, uh, Cape Canaveral into uh, Cocoa Beach. And also just to the uh, south of Titusville, so we're getting a couple of uh, isolated uh, Coastal showers uh, this morning as well, and as we pan up here to the north just a bit, we got a, also got well, we also got a couple of showers uh, as well. But coastal, uh, right along towards I ninety five from New Smyrna Beach into uh, Edgewater, and right here just to the uh, south of the Daytona Beach area, but between South Daytona and Port Orange is where we're seeing a little isolated uh, coastal shower as well. As we're waking, what we're waking up to as of uh, as of this Friday morning. So I'll go ahead and put these in motion for you guys so you know where that's uh, heading to. If I zoom out just a little bit, so you all know where it's going. And uh, it looks like these coastal, or well, not just the coastal, but it looks like the isolated uh, spottier showers and also some sprinkles and a little bit of drizzle is, is pretty much moving uh, due to the uh, north and northeast is what it looks like here at about uh, 50 to 55 miles per hour. So they're quick moving. So that's what we got here right now on the uh, radar across parts of portions of the uh, central Florida viewing area as of this uh, 7 o'clock hour. So if I can, we'll go ahead and send back in here down towards, uh, let's say, um, Osceola County and put a track on these uh, uh, guys right here. So let's put one right here. That's the, well, let's put one right here that is located just south of uh, Kissimmee and just to the southwest of St. Cloud. So it's doing the same. So it's doing the... What's, what it's doing here this morning, moving to the north and northeast here at about 50 to 55 miles per hour. And it looks like it should be, this should be impacting uh, places like, uh, let me fix the storm track first of all, because it's uh, 7.03. Uh, they, they, this will be impacting uh, places like uh, Buena Ventura, Ventura Lakes at about uh, 7.16, Flamingo at 7.19, Meadowoods at 7.19 as well, and South Chase at about uh, 7.20. These are locations here in southern Orange County. It's just right near the Orlando International Airport. So if you're in these areas here that I've called out, and also that could be in the path of that uh, little isolated shower that is uh, located between Kissimmee and St. Cloud, just a heads up, but just, just to let you know that it will not be lasting longer. It will be just quick moving, so just keep just keep that in mind uh, as we head into the rest of this uh, morning. Uh, <clears throat> so, so just saying there. And we'll also go ahead and pan up here just to the north a little bit and show you well, actually, I'll already show you where the showers are, but uh, let's, look, let's go ahead and put, no, put another track on the other other bands of uh, isolated coastal showers that are also forming uh, this morning. Like we'll say, uh, we'll say, uh, for example, uh, these two right here, or, or maybe one rather, that is located just to the uh, south and east of uh, Titusville. And this is again, this is in northern uh, Brevard County. So put a track on that. Again, doing the same thing, moving due to the north and northeast here at about 50 to 55 miles per hour. So that will give places like, uh, let's see here, it's 704. It'll be arriving uh, toward, uh, towards uh, Wilson's Corner at about uh, 716 and Dummett Grove at about uh, 721. These are locations here just to the east of Titusville, but, it's, but, but, but that's along the coast 
uh, of uh, Brevard County. That could, that could be in the path of that little isolated shower. They'll be moving into that direction here over the next uh, uh, few minutes uh, or so. So just uh, keep that in mind if you live in Wilson's Gro- or Corner or Dummett Grove that you could be that you could get a little isolated, quick moving shower here in just uh, a few minutes or so. So just saying there, and uh, let's go ahead and put, a, put also a track on these isolated coastal showers that are happening in Volusia County as well uh, this morning. And again, they're doing the same thing. So let's put one right here, moving north northeast here at about uh, 55 miles per hour. And that will give places like uh, Edgewater Junction at about uh, 713, Edgewater at 715, Mission City at 716, Glencoe at 717, same thing for New Smyrna Beach, uh, Isleboro at about 720, and P- Ponce Inland at about uh, 722. So if you're living live in these areas here that I've called out, again, just be aware that you may get uh, a little quick uh, isolated moving shower there over the next uh, few minutes or so. Again, these are locations there that'll be, uh, that are They'll be in the path of that uh, little a little uh, shower, so just keep that in mind. And then we're also uh, we'll also put another track here uh, of these uh, little one or two uh, showers here, coastal, but located just west of a uh, New Smyrna Beach and uh, Edgewater. But it's doing the same thing, moving due to the north and northeast. And this will be impacting places like uh, Harbor o- Harbor Oaks at seven thirteen, Allendale at seven fourteen, Port Orange. At 7:15 as well, uh, Wilbur by the uh, something at about uh, 7:15 as well. Halifax Estates at 7:16, uh, South Daytona at about uh, 7:17, and Daytona Beach at uh, 7:18. So if you live in these areas, again, uh, for, <clears throat> again, just be aware you may get you may get a little uh, isolated coastal shower there pretty soon. But again, they should not last very long. So just keep that in mind. And they're spotty. But everybody else here across Central Florida is looking dry at the moment here at the, as of this uh, seven o'clock hour as we're starting off our Friday. So, so that's so that's so that's what we have here um, at the uh, moment. So, so there you have it. So, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our uh, current temperatures outside here across um, uh, Central Florida at this seven o'clock hour as well. <clears throat> And yes, like I said a little earlier, or just a few minutes ago, rather, it's, it is looking a little bit cooler out there to start our Friday. Uh, so if we go ahead and pinpoint these uh, temperatures here and see who's seen some cooler ones. Like, for example, right now here in Orlando, we're waking up to uh, morning low temperatures currently into the lower 60s. we got 61 degrees uh, right now here in town. And then for Kissimmee, we're waking up to a morning low temperature as well at about 61. And then over towards uh, Lakeland in Polk County. Same thing for you, waking up to a morning low temperature at about 61 degrees. And then over here in uh, uh, Lake County, up towards the villages, uh, morning low temperature this morning is about 60. And then Ocala is waking up to temperatures uh, a little more cooler, but again, it's not much cooler or chilly like it was over the past uh, few days, at least for low temperatures or even, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for low temperatures like yesterday or yesterday morning, for example, but, 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 it, but it's still a little bit more cooler up uh, up there, as you can see, there is, as you can see, the low temperature currently right now this morning is about uh, 53, and then up towards uh, Sanford and Seminole County, waking up to a morning low temperature at about 63 degrees, and then for uh, Daytona Beach, we got 61, and then up here, up towards uh, Palm Coast and Flacker County, waking up to uh, a, a morning low temperature currently at about 60, and then for Titusville, waking up to about 63. So yes, both. Almost all of Central Florida are seeing lows here, or yeah, lows this morning in the uh, low 60s, except for um, Ocala, where you're waking up to uh, temperatures a little bit more cooler into the low to mid 50s. So I think the only need, only thing that you need, uh, you know, before you step out the door uh, this morning to work in school is just uh, grab a grab a light jacket. Uh, but you, but you will not need it later. You will not need it later this afternoon because uh, temperatures are going to really start to warm up into the uh, mid to upper 70s. As we head into um, as we head as we head into your uh, Friday, at least the, at least the second half of your Friday, so just keep just keep that in mind. <clears throat> so as we take a look at uh, future cash, we'll show you the timing of highs and lows here for the next uh, few days. And uh, and uh, by the way, I do want I do want to mention that there's going to be a weak uh, front that's going to move in here by later on tonight, which is going to bring temperatures down a little bit cooler as we head into the start of our weekend. So just keep that in mind. But at least it won't be as 
at least the front will not be as strong like the one that passed through early Monday morning of early this week, which is a good thing. It'll just be weaker. So just keep that in mind. And, uh, and, and, and as always here, guys, if you're just uh, popping on into the Facebook live stream on this uh, early Friday morning, uh, remember, don't forget to uh, go ahead and share this uh, uh, Facebook live feed to your other followers, because you know my motto, sharing is caring. So, so let's, let's start the future cast here. So as we head into the next uh, hour or so, we're still expecting temperatures to be more of the same, or, or to remain of the same, rather. So remain in the 50s here up in Marion County and then the rest of uh, Central Florida in the low 60s. So that's what we'll see as we head into the next uh, hour or so at 8 a.m. And then as we head into, uh, like I said, later on this afternoon, we're going to see temperatures really warm things up to average into the mid to upper 70s. But there's a possibility that some locations could maybe hit 80 degrees this afternoon. It just depends how much uh, sunshine we get. So just, let, just letting you know about that. But for right now here in Orlando, I just, want to, I just want to show a potential high temperature this afternoon at about 77 degrees. could see a high temperature in Kissimmee at 76, 73 this afternoon in uh, Sanford, 74 for Titusville, 76 for uh, Lakeland. could see a high temperature this afternoon at about 74 in the Villages, uh, Ocala, 75 for Daytona Beach, and 72 is a little cooler for you guys up in Palm Coast and Flacco County later this afternoon. So, yes, it's going to be a really a warm day here in the viewing area. So enjoy if you can, if you got some big outdoor plans. All right, let's see. we got uh, Enrique Arrington. Uh, he's uh, in the house. Well, good morning to you. And, uh, and of course, thank you for stopping by and saying uh, hello. <clears throat> really, pre really appreciate that. So... So uh, if you got any big plans outdoors uh, later on today, whether if you're going to uh, the attractions or if you're going to be going to uh, the beach, should be a pretty good day to do that. But for those of you who are planning on going to the beach later this afternoon and thinking about doing boating, jet skiing, or parasailing, well, unfortunately, uh, for the rip currents, it's, gonna be, it's still going to be really dangerous uh, to do that. So, so I, want you to try to, I want you to try to avoid uh, doing that if you can, uh, if, if you're going to be if you thought about doing that here later today, because like I said, there are, there are some higher rip currents that will continue as we head into uh, today due to those uh, strong winds that will occur basically, basically right along the coast. So just, just letting you know, but, but it shouldn't be too bad to lay in the sun though. Like, uh, you know, like near the beach, uh, since temperatures will be, will be uh, a bit warmer and, and that there'll be hopefully, and hopefully that there'll, that there'll be a lot of sunshine uh, later today as well. So just saying there, but yes, a nice day is ahead once again here for Central Florida. So there you go. All right, heading into uh, this evening. After after uh, the sun goes down, we're expecting these uh, temperatures to go down uh, still kind of mild, but a little bit cooler. Uh, we'll go down into the upper 60s, and even some spots, including Orlando, may hit or actually go, may go down into the lower 70s as we head into uh, 8 p.m., so I think the only thing you may need if you have any outdoor plans uh, tonight is just uh, grab a jacket. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but otherwise, you'll be looking pretty okay, at least for outdoor plans. So just uh, just saying there. And, of course, we'll be dry, too. All right, now heading into uh, overnight tonight. Uh, like I said before, this, this is when our next uh, front will arrive through uh, central Florida. And, again, it'll be a weak uh, cold front uh, then. So that means that as we start off our Saturday morning here in central Florida, so after the sun comes up, we'll see temperatures uh, go down slightly into the upper 40s north and then maybe some mid-50s here for elsewhere in central Florida. So like, for example, we could see a low temperature early tomorrow morning once the uh, week front passes through at about 50 or maybe upper 40s in Ocala. Same thing, here when you, same thing if you live in the villages or in Palm Coast, but others could see mid-50s here, including like the I-4 corridor, including right here in Orlando, uh, Sanford, Daytona Beach, Titusville, Kissimmee, and even Lakeland as well. So the mid-50s will be the low temperatures early tomorrow morning. So if you had any big plans uh, first thing early in the morning, whether if you're going to the uh, attractions, maybe uh, maybe to uh, start the day, uh, or if you're going to be playing some golf or going to go out for maybe an early morning run, uh, I think you may want to grab a jacket or maybe a sweater because since there's, since there's going to be a week front that's going to move in here overnight, yeah, it's going to be feeling a, a little bit chilly, uh, but otherwise it'll be, it'll be, we'll be still on the cooler side, so just uh, uh, keep that in mind. 
And then as we head into the rest of your Saturday, so we got any big plans uh, during the afternoon, same thing, just grab a jacket because temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s for most of us as we head into the afternoon. So just keep that in mind. So we're talking about a high temperature tomorrow at about 60, 67 here in Orlando, 65 for uh, Sanford. Uh, 65 for the high temperature tomorrow, potentially, up towards uh, Daytona Beach, 63 for Palm Coast, so low 60s for you, and even the same thing up towards uh, Ocala, could see a high temperature at about 64 in the villages, 66 for Lakeland, and about 67 will be the high temperature uh, tomorrow in uh, Titusville, so yes, it will be a bit of a cooler day, but otherwise it will be still perfect, though, for outdoor plans as we head into uh, tomorrow, so just uh, keep that in mind. At least we'll see a lot of sunshine as well, which could make our conditions a little bit warmer. But since because there's a good, but since because there's going to be a weak front moving in here overnight tonight, that's going to bring temperatures down just a bit cooler. So just keep that in mind. All right, I see that uh, M. Richmond is uh, in the house as well. Well, good morning to you, and as always, thank you for stopping by and uh, saying hello. Really appreciate that. All right, let's continue on with the uh, future cast. So as we get into uh, tomorrow uh, evening, after the sun goes down, I think you may want to have a jacket and maybe a sweater too, because we'll see temperatures get down a little tad chilly, uh, you know, for both for some of us here in Central Florida. Because once this, once you know it gets dark, we'll see temperatures go down from 60s down into the 50s as we approach 8 o'clock. So we're talking about uh, temperatures here about 8 p.m. tomorrow night at about 59 here in Orlando. Same thing right up here towards uh, Sanford. We're talk Sanford. We're talking about low 50s up here towards the north of Orlando. Like, for example, could see an evening temperature tomorrow at about 52 in Ocala. So a little bit chilly for you guys up there uh, tomorrow night and about 51 for the Villages, 53 for Daytona Beach, and 51 for Palm Coast. 55 will be the evening temperature tomorrow in Titusville. Same thing for Kissimmee and about 54 uh, in Lakeland. So, yes, it's going to be a little bit chilly tomorrow night. So, same thing if you got plants going on. Again, just grab a jacket and also maybe a sweater. But otherwise, it shouldn't be too bad and it'll be quiet uh, as far as the weather goes. All right, now continue on here with the uh, future cast here through uh, early Sunday morning. As we get into the second half of this final weekend of January, we're talking about another chilly start. So, we're talking about morning glow temperatures getting down into. Not just uh, not just the 40s, but it looks like up towards uh, Palm Coast and Flacker County, it looks like you could potentially get down into the upper 30s again as we head into uh, the start of your early Sunday morning. So I cannot rule out maybe a patchy frost potential if you live in Flacker County, but that is a possibility. So that's something we'll have to watch carefully. But otherwise, here the rest of our viewing area will be in the uh, 40s uh, as we head into early Sunday. So really a very chilly start to the, to the day as we head into uh, that morning. But except for Orlando, though, we may not be in the 40s for lows early Sunday. We may be in the low 50s, so it's still going to be a little bit chilly out there. So you may want to grab a jacket or a sweater once you step out the door if you're heading to uh, church, at least to church services, or if you're heading to uh, the, the attractions, you know, as an early start, or whatever you got going on outdoors early that morning. It'll just be, like I said, just on the chilly side. So just uh, uh, keep, it, uh, keep that in mind. And, of course, we'll be dry as well. And then as we head into uh, the rest of the day on Sunday, we're going to stop the clock here for 1, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. We'll see temperatures warm up slightly, uh, but still cooler into the upper 50s north and low to, and then low 60s across the rest of our viewing area. But once we get into about 3 o'clock, I believe, I think we'll see temperatures warm things up uh, a bit into the um, uh, mid-60s, maybe upper 60s too. So, yes, so not just tomorrow, but Sunday what looks to be another cool day as well. But otherwise, it'll be still perfect with lots of sunshine. So, if you're, so for example, if you're going to be heading to the uh, Pro Bowl game, uh, that's be, that'll be taking place at the Camping World St Stadium in downtown Orlando on Sunday afternoon. Again, just grab a jacket, but otherwise, it'll be perfect with most of the sunny skies. But again, we'll be in the mid to upper 60s. So, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the precipitation part on FutureCast because there's still a possibility that some of us could see maybe a few isolated uh, one or two brief showers here later this afternoon as well, but not a big not a big rainmaker, so just please note that. So let's turn off uh, the temperature part on FutureCast and turn on the precipitation part. And like I said, we're waking up to just a few uh, isolated brief showers this morning that you saw, as you folks saw on the radar just a little while ago. But yes, there could be some possibly later this afternoon before the weak front does arrive. 
So as we, so as we get into this afternoon, about 1 or 2 o'clock, this is what you're expecting here. So again, we're expecting uh, possibly uh, maybe a few coastal showers here over towards the I-95 corridor into uh, Brevard County, basically from Titusville to Melbourne, Palm Bay. And there could be one or two brief showers, too, across parts of uh, the I-4 corridor, but otherwise it would be mostly sunny uh, with uh, warm temperatures here later on today. So that's what we're expecting. And then that will continue on here through, through the rest of the afternoon, too, until we get to uh, sunset. Because after about 7, 8, 9 o'clock, we'll see some showers. Uh, at least some will continue, but isolated. But, other, but otherwise, they'll be looking uh, pretty quiet. And they should be able to die down uh, for the most part. So, so there you have it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, before we take a look at the GFS, let's get a last check at the uh, radar. Because for those of you that are just now popping on into the uh, Facebook live stream on this early uh, Friday morning, if you, didn't, if, you, if you didn't get to see it uh, a little earlier, from the beginning of this uh, feed. Here, here's what it looks like right now. So again, we're waking up to just a few isolated showers this morning. Again, we got, again, we got some right here in uh, Orange County, especially in the Orlando uh, suburbs. And we also got a few showers here in Osceola County down towards uh, Kissimmee, St. Cloud, and all the way down towards uh, Titusville in Jamelburn and Palm Bay. So that's where uh, these folks are waking up to. But otherwise, we're waking up to... Uh, for other locations, it's just a dry start, but again, it's just, it's just the cooler temperatures we're, we're dealing with here this morning as well. So, there you have it. All right, so let's get to uh, the forecast here beginning of early next week as we get into the final week for January. I guess we're almost through for the month. And, uh, and as we get into uh, Monday, uh, we're, we're, expecting, we're expecting our next uh, system to arrive for parts of uh, central Florida uh, that day. But it looks like uh, not a whole lot of rain as, as, to, as to what we – actually, I take that back. Again, I got my words mixed up here, so I apologize for that. So and there may, may not be a whole lot of rain on Monday for most of us. So that's what I meant to say as we head into uh, early next week here. But it, do, it does show, though, on the, G, on the GFS here, basically down towards uh, Brevard. Osceola and Polk County, so there could be a few isolated showers as we head into uh, that day. But it looks like the system where, the, where that could bring rain will, will pretty much stay, stay down towards the south of, uh, of central Florida. So that's what we'll see as we head into it that day. But otherwise, I think the rest of our viewing area could be looking pretty dry, if this is correct, with uh, maybe, uh, maybe a tap of sunshine as we head into, once again, on Monday of next week. So we'll see. And as we take a look at the high temperatures down below, it will still be still a bit cooler, like we're going to see uh, both tomorrow and Sunday, but for Monday, with highs only in the low to mid-60s. So yes, another jacket day will be, will be likely as we head into, again, on Monday of next week, as we kick off the final full week for the month of uh, January. So there you have it. And now as we head into uh, Tuesday, so, like, so, so the rain that's going to be pushing to, to, to uh, Florida on Monday will stay farther south of us. But there could be still, like I said, a few isolated showers, but otherwise we'll be looking dry. So that's what the GFS is saying this morning. But then as we head into Tuesday, which is the uh, 28th, same thing, looking dry across uh, central Florida. But I cannot rule out maybe a little coastal shower here over towards uh, Brevard County. But otherwise, it'll just be looking pretty dry with the rain staying down towards uh, South Florida. So that's, what we'll, so that's what we'll see here as we head into uh, Tuesday. And as we uh, take a look at the uh, high temperatures down below, we'll start to warm up uh, slightly, but still remain slightly cooler, but looking almost closer to average as we head into that day. So we'll be in the mid to maybe upper 60s to about 70 for some of us as we head into uh, that day. So not looking too bad as far as the temperatures go or conditions, uh, but it'll just be a little cooler. So that's, what we're, so that's what we'll see as we head into uh, that day. So there you go. All right, now heading into the middle of the work week. This is for uh, Wednesday. It looks like we'll see another dry day in central Florida. But notice here on the GFS, it looks like another disturbance here may try to develop across the Gulf Coast. That could bring maybe another chance for some showers. Not for Wednesday, but maybe the next day we'll have to look at the Thursday's forecast here in just a second, but for the most part, Wednesday, Wednesday's weather looks to be dry here in central Florida for the most part with another round of some uh, mostly sunny skies. 
And as we take a look at the high temperatures once again down below, we'll be still a little bit cooler with highs only in the mid to upper 60s to about, to about 70 for most of us, like I said before, as we head into that day. And now heading into uh, a week from yesterday, this is for next Thursday, January 30th. It looks like we'll see, yet again, another another round of uh, mostly sunny skies. But I cannot, cannot rule out maybe a brief shower or two for parts of our viewing area. But otherwise, it'll be looking uh, pretty dry. So that's what we'll see as we head into uh, that day as we're closing out the month of uh, January. And as we take a look at the high temperatures down below, again, we'll be slightly cooler but average, almost average, with highs only in the mid to upper 60s to about uh, 70. So it looks like almost next week will be a, a slightly cooler week here in central Florida, but at least it will not be as cool, chilly, or cold like it was earlier this week. So that's a good thing. And now taking you to uh, next Friday, this is a week from today. And this is when our next uh, big system can move into central Florida, and that can bring maybe a very higher coverage of rain uh, in central Florida. So it looks like we'll give about a 50 to a 60 percent coverage of showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms, possibly, if that's correct, as we head into uh, the last day for January. So that's something we'll have to watch uh, closely, but we're still kind of too early to say if this will happen or not. So it still, it still could change as we get closer, so just letting you know. And as we uh, take a look at the high temperatures down below, it looks like... Um, well, since that uh, t temperatures may not be warm enough to produce any severe weather, again, I still think there could be maybe a few isolated storms there, but I think for the most part, we're talking maybe some good chance for showers. So as you can see here for high temperatures, we're talking about mostly uh, low to mid 60s here for the viewing area. And I believe that's ahead of another uh, cold front that may drop in from the north to the south. But by the time we get into uh, the first weekend for February, so that's something, again, we'll have to watch uh, closely if possible. But just keep on checking back here for any changes because we're still about a week off. And not just Friday, we'll see the of next week of next week. <coughs> excuse me, it's not just Friday of next week uh, that we'll that we'll see a good chance of rain for Central Florida. But that may continue again for next Saturday as we kick off the first day for February. So, so just keep that in mind here. And yes, the rain could be heavy at times too. That's what it shows here on the GFS. So yes, there could be some locally heavy rain and some downpours according to this uh, GFS model, as we head into uh, the first day again for February, which is next Saturday. So this is a week from tomorrow. And as we take a look at the uh, high temperatures uh, down below, yep, uh, we'll see temperatures cool down into the uh, mid-60s as we head into uh, that day as the uh, cold front, at least the next one, the second one, gets closer to our viewing areas. So, yes, you may want to be prepared for another cool down here, guys, as we head into uh, next uh, weekend after that second system just move out of here but yes that's going to bring a good chance of rain not just for next friday but also for next uh saturday as we kick off the new month of february but at least there could be some at least there could be maybe a few thunderstorms but isolated but we're not expecting any severe weather so that's a good thing <clears throat> all right now taking you to uh next sunday February 2nd, and that'll be a uh, Groundhog Day, for at, least for, the, at least for the whole country, as we head into uh, that day. And it looks like uh, for Groundhog Day, we'll be seeing mostly dry weather as that system moves out of here off towards the Atlantic, and that'll give us some mostly sunny weather. So that will return here to central Florida that day. And as we uh, take a look at the high temperatures below, yes, we'll be turning much cooler. So, so yes, once that uh, system and once the front does pass, uh, pass on through, uh, Saturday night we'll see uh, temperatures... Again, during the day on Sunday, cool off into the uh, low to mid 60s. So, and even the same thing for the Super Bowl game here, they'll be happening down in Miami on Sunday as well of next weekend. So, if you're heading to Miami next Sunday for the Super Bowl, as the uh, Kansas City Chiefs take on the San Francisco 49ers, it looks like you may want to have those jackets and sweaters uh, bundled pretty handy, especially in the evening, because it's not just 60s we'll see for highs, but it lo looks like once the sun goes down, it looks like temperatures may start to cool off into the 50s. So, so we'll watch the again we'll watch the models here carefully, but of course you may never know. We're still you know too early to say if this will happen or not. So it could always change as we get uh, closer. So just uh, keep that in mind. But for now, again it'll just be cooler into the uh, 60s. Again that's going to be right after uh, the cold front. The second one just passed on through along with that uh, second system. 
That's going, to bring, that's going to bring us a good chance of rain both on Friday and Saturday. So there you have it. All right, now heading into the real pure land of voodoo country. This is for uh, the following Monday, which is February 3rd. It looks like we'll see another day of some dry weather in central Florida. So we'll see more sunny skies. And as we uh, take a look at the uh, high temperatures uh, down below, we will still be cooler, but we'll, 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 we'll uh, warm up just a little bit as we get into the mid to upper 60s. And maybe some could hit 70 possibly as well as we head into uh, that day, but it'll still be slightly cooler, but not looking too bad as far as the weather goes as we kick off the new month. So there you have it. Now heading into uh, Tuesday, the 4th. Uh, same thing, looking dry here in central Florida, but what, look what's coming here, uh, though, guys. It looks like, yet again, maybe another system could try to develop here from the northwest, and that could bring some rain across parts of the Mississippi Valley region. We'll have to wait and see if it's going to head towards us or not, so we'll have to look at the next runs here in just a second. But otherwise, we'll be looking at another sunny day here, like I said before, in central Florida. Again, that's for Tuesday the 4th, and as we look at the uh, high temperatures uh, down below, We'll start to warm up back to average, but just a little bit into the uh, low to maybe mid 70s. So that's not too bad uh, as we head into uh, that day. It could be maybe a good day to go to the beach or go to the attractions if this is correct. So that's something we'll watch. Uh, but again, we're in land of voodoo country, so that could change as we get uh, closer. So just keep on checking back. Now, as we head into uh, the, the middle of the uh, work week, the following week here, this is for uh, Wednesday, February 5th. It looks like that uh, weaker system will be pushing to central Florida, and that will give us just a little chance for a few isolated showers ahead of our next uh, cold front. At least that will be front number three if that happens. But, again, it's land of voodoo. Too early to call, to call to make a call on this is what I meant to say. But, like I said before, it will change as we get uh, closer. And as we look at our high temperatures down below, it looks like we'll start to cool down. We'll start to cool off into the uh, 60s here in the viewing area once that uh, once the third front does pass on through, uh, along with the uh, isolated showers as we head into again the middle of the work week, the following week. So we'll be cooling off from 70s down into the uh, 60s and maybe upper 50s up north. So, so there you have it. And as far as low temperatures go from the morning of the sixth, which is the Thursday, this will be two weeks from yesterday. Since there's going to be another front, uh, since there may be another front moving in here by midweek that week, let's see how chilly or cold it may get. And it looks like I don't see any 30s for lows for the morning at the sixth here. I do see some 40s though, so it could be maybe a chilly start to uh, the day in Central Florida. But at least will not be as extremely cold, which is a good thing. So, uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But again, it, it may change as we get closer because we're still still about two weeks off here till we get to the first week of February. So. Just keep on checking back, as always. But as we get into the second half of the day of Thursday the 6th, it looks like we'll see uh, the rain, at least a little rain chance move out of here, and that will give us another day of some sunny weather in central Florida. And then as we look at the uh, high temperatures for now, we'll be, again, a little bit cooler in the uh, low to mid-60s. So, yes, will be another, it'll be another cool day once that uh, third front passes through. So just keep that in mind. So it's another, so another uh, jacket or sweater day will probably be needed as we head into the second half of the uh, work week that week, especially Thursday. Not next Thursday, but the following Thursday. And then as we head into uh, Friday the 7th, it looks like yet again another disturbance with the system will develop here from the northwest into the southeast that could rain uh, at least just in the northwest of here, just some rain across parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, the panhandle of Florida, and, the, and South Carolina. But otherwise, before that moves in to our viewing area, we'll see another day of dry weather as we hand it to, again, the first Friday for the month of February. And as we uh, take a look at the uh, high temperatures before the system in the front moves in below, we'll be warming up uh, slightly into the upper 60s to about 70 so that's not too bad, actually. So there you go. And it looks like the it looks like the next chance of rain, well, the following chance rather, looks to be moving in as the as the fourth system comes closer as we head into uh, Saturday, February eighth, as we're going to end this forecast this morning. So it looks like it looks like we give, we'll give about a forty to a fifty percent coverage of some uh, showers here in Central Florida as we head into uh, the eighth of February. Again, that's on the Saturday. 
two Saturdays away, actually, which is two weeks from tomorrow, uh, ahead of the uh, fourth front. So something to watch here, but again, this is land of voodoo, so that could still change as we get closer and as we take a look at the temperatures for highs below before we end this video this morning. It looks it looks like a it looks like a cold front number four will pass through and that'll bring temperatures down from the 60s down maybe again another chill down into the 50s. So that's something we'll watch. But again, it's too early to make a call on this year. But like I said before, it will likely change as we get uh, closer. So just uh, keep that in mind. All right, gang, I'm going to start wrapping up this uh, video as of this uh, Friday morning. So that's it for the uh, forecast video update. And I hope to be back here later on uh, tonight for the next edition of uh, Facebook Live. So hope you guys can uh, join me then. And I'll continue, as always, by posting more notes or updates on my blog and uh, Facebook pages 24-7. But in the meantime, hope you enjoy the rest or, yeah, enjoy the rest of your uh, Friday. And, of course, enjoy these warm temperatures. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you all tonight. So you guys take care and uh, God bless.